wanted to show you guys a little something that I thought might be helpful. Um, even though we're in collage um, this month, I got out my concertina and I was going to use um, gray, a mid gray, my Indian yellow, and my Indian ink, my black Indian ink, and my black Stabilo crayon and I got stuck a little bit. I was um, I did these pages and um, after I got a few of them done I didn't like them. So I got to this part and I really loved that. Um, let's see. This one section I really love the free, freedom of it and then the, the lightness of it. And I realized, what can I do back in here to change some of these really dark and drab places? So, um, you know, we get stuck sometimes and I, I couldn't figure it out. And then all of a sudden the light bulb went off and I thought, go ahead and mix. My Indian yellow with some white, which makes a beautiful, very pale, beautiful, soft yellow. But it's still bright. It's really pretty. And I can go back in and lighten some of these um, places. When I did the first uh, original um, concertina, which was the red, um, gosh, I forgot I had a whole other backside that doesn't have anything in it. <clears throat> Where are my red pieces? Let's see this way. There they are. And even the blue, the blue green. But when I did the reds, I didn't have any problem. I just went quickly throughout the book. And I didn't hardly go back in at all um, with this side. It was fun. It was freeing. It was loose. Now, I think I've, because I'm used to it and I'm more, um, oh, you end up getting tighter and tighter is what I'm saying. You kind of get... You lose that fresh, you lose that freshness. And sometimes, like with this, it took me a few pages before I felt real free and loose, which is what resulted in this last three pages. So there's really something to that. I mean, um, we can just get kind of all tight with inside of ourselves and forget about having that just that fresh spontaneity and, and keep staying loose. We have to really, I think, I do, I know I do, I have to constantly be um, aware of not holding on to an outcome. So, I think finally after a few pages and I got to this part, I finally wasn't caring about the outcome here. And that's why this is so loose. So anyway, I can go back in and I can brighten up some of the, this with something light. Um, I might scratch through with my scraper, Robert Simmons scraper. But I'm going to demo, demo a little bit of this. Because <clears throat> I just was not happy with how um, dark and Kind of gloomy that was becoming.
Now that right there was Stabilo, pencil, uh, the Stabilo crayon. And I notice it does bleed, but that's okay with me. It doesn't bother me. So you, uh, don't forget if you've used the Stabilos, you got to spray the fixative on it if you don't want that to bleed underneath <clears throat> or smear. Get a little bit of that color into this part.
Okay, and I also have my light gray or my medium gray that I might use to. Actually, that's too dark. I'm going to go in a little, make it a little bit lighter with some more white. Tub of gesso. still too dark for me in spots. Okay, that's all for now.
that dry.